process of getting rid of clothes so got a lot going on but you did just see I placed the rug underlay with the rug which was the fur material that I got from Joann's 
So I'm going to let that sit. I do have the window still open, so hopefully it doesn't take as long. But I'm just going to let it sit. It says they bond together for like two to three minutes. But I'm going to let it sit a little bit longer so it can completely dry since I did spray over the underlay. Um, and that part will be going on the carpet. So I don't want, I want to make sure it's completely dry. Um, so, yeah. It's been about five minutes, five to ten minutes since I stopped. And it's still sticky. So I'm going to let this sit for as long as possible. And you see how it didn't cover all the rug? That's fine, because I'm gonna cut it, the edges, so I'm gonna cut all around. But there is a crease here, but I think it's good because it gives it a little texture. So yes, I used uh, towels, old towels, because um, I didn't want to get an adhesive on the carpet, which I am glad I thought about that, because this stuff sprays everywhere. And you want to make sure throughout the process while it's drying, you lift it up off the towel because mine's was sticking just a little bit and then just lay it back out so we can continue to dry and we'll see we'll be back so the next clip you'll see will be me cutting the rug i made a rug cool uh the rug into the shape i desire um i did save the other piece i plan to go back to walmart to get another um sheet you should say of the rug underlay and i'll probably use the rest of the material for another rug to go like in front of my dresser or in my bathroom or something this rug material i wasn't too excited about because in my mind i wanted something furry so like fuzzy fuzzy um but you got more than one rug it's still pretty and it was in the budget so it was $14.99 a yard and I got two yards so it was like $25 um, something I'll link it I'll put it in the video um, yeah the whole total project would have been about under $40 so I will put everything in the description down below that way so if you do decide to make it on your own Shoot me a picture and show me how what you made because I need to see some other material because I want to make many more rugs. I think it's a lot cheaper um, for the size and the price. That's why I wanted to do my own DUI. No, that's why I wanted to do my own DIY. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Bye.
I actually like it. It's nice, and I think that for how big I wanted it, um, if I were to get the fur, the fuzzy fur, it wouldn't fit under the door. And I hate when Carter does that. So this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. This is the rabbit. It's not real, y'all. It's not real. <laughs> But it's the rabbit one. And it's like a a bluish, hopefully it's showing up on the camera, a bluish tint with black and white and gray. 
It's very pretty and it's so soft. So tell me what you think. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Comments. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. As there's many more like I do DUIs all the time. And you have to excuse my bed. The kids were in it. But I made my own headboard. I did this two years ago, two, three years ago. I made my own headboard. So yes. And this is for a queen size bed. So I love doing my home DIYs. So happy that this came out great. It goes with my color scheme. I love black and white. So the hint of blue, as you can see, I have blue pillows. The hint of blue goes well. And if I change, well, I do change, of course, you know, my sheets and stuff throughout the seasons and months. So I think it'll go perfect. And if not, I'll just make a new one.